let's make my hidden log cabin quilt pattern, which is perfect for a 42 count jelly roll or even a 42 count layer cake. One of these pre-cut bundles will yield you a 48 inch by 56 inch quilt. Now for the fabric, I am using Lilliput by Sharon Holland. So let's go ahead and get started. Now if you are using a jelly roll, which is a two and a half inch by width of fabric strips, you will subcut them into one, two and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangle, two, two and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangles, two, two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangles, and lastly, two, two and a half inch squares. Then you'll just repeat those steps with all of your 42 count jelly roll strips. Now, if you prefer to use a 42 count layer cake, which are 10 inch squares, you will just repeat the same cuts, which are once again, one, two and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangle, two, two and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangles, two, two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangles, and lastly, two, two and a half inch squares per each 10 inch square. Then once again, you'll just repeat all of that for the 42 count layer cake 10 inch squares. And just for a side reference, here is what the fabric waist will look like on the two. Orange is the jelly roll strip and pink is from the 10 inch square. But go ahead and pick whichever you prefer and we'll now get into piecing our block. Now that everything is cut, you are going to select one, two and a half inch square. Then in a different print, you're going to select one, two and a half inch square and one, two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangle in the same prints. Next, in your third print, you are going to select one, two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangle and one, two and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangle. And lastly, once again, in a fourth print now, you will select one, two and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangle and one, two and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangle. And now all we have to do is sew everything back together. So first we are going to start by sewing our two and a half inch square blocks together. Then we are going to take the matching two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangle and sew it to the bottom of the unit that we just created. Next, we are going to sew the third print in a two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangle on the left side of our unit followed by the matching two and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangle on the top of that unit. Then for our last row of our log cabin block, we are going to sew the fourth print that is in a two and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangle to the left side of the unit, followed by the matching two and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangle to the top to now complete our hidden log cabin block. Now your block will measure as a eight and a half inch square. And all you have to do now is repeat these steps until you have made a total of 42 eight and a half inch quilt blocks. But once all of your blocks are made, you're going to lay them out in a six by seven block layout while rotating each block 90 degrees. Then as always, you'll sew your blocks together to form rows. And then lastly, sew your rows together to complete your quilt top. And here is what my hidden log cabin looks like all finished. Now for the backing, I am using a coordinated print from within the collection. Then for the thread choice, I am going with glide threads in the color Peacock. And here is what my quilt looks like all quilted. For the quilting, I personally designed this edge-to-edge -edge quilt pattern that has mixed berries and leaves. For the berries, there are blueberries, strawberries, and even some blackberries as well. And one 42 count jelly roll or layer cake will yield you a 48 inch by 56 inch quilt. 
two jelly rolls or layer cakes with an 8x10 block layout will yield you a twin size quilt measuring at 64 inch by 80 inches just to give you a few more options. Now I do hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.